The four army worm, which was first detected in August on some maize fields in the Tolon district, feeds on leaves and epical meristem of the maize plants, particularly where the tassel emerges. They also leave a lot of fecal excrement on the leaves and the tassel areas. The feeding results in a lot of torn patches on the leaf and damage to the epical meristem and can kill the plant. The worm feed both day and night, increasing the level of destruction on the fields. In 30 days, the worm have destroyed more than 45 hectares of maize farms, including 5 hectares of fermenter maize fields belonging to the Savannah Agriculture Research Institute. In an interaction, some farmers revealed to Vasa One News that, although the worms were detected in August, they had not received any information on how to control them. <laughs> And what has it done so far for him? At in Yangpala, more than 50 maize varieties planted on experimental research fields were destroyed by the worms. A maize breeder, Haruna Ilidu, gives the extent of the damage. What we saw this about two months ago when the plants were very, were, were very young. So we decided to spray. We were spraying. In fact, the first two sprays we did were, was weekly, but we saw that we were not, they were not being what, controlled. In fact, farmers have also started, the, the farmers came here asking us what was happening and how they could control it. So it is, only, it is not only on our research field or even on farmers field. Mr. Haruna expressed worried about the state of the devastation and its implications on food security in the region. If you look at the whole of this field, in fact, we have about five hectares where we are standing. And uh, we have about close to 15 trials here. And all of them have been affected. Because uh, our trials are being destroyed. From these trials, we'll come out with new technologies for our farmers. Our trials are being destroyed. That is one of the worries. Secondly, I'm imagining if it attacks the farmer's field. We have been spraying for the past one month. We have been spraying every three days. And still, so we're having this result. I'm wondering if the farmer can do that. It means the farmer, if there's no external help, it means that he's just, he'll just leave the plants to their feet. And the third word is that it means there's going to be hunger if we don't take time next year. Because if all the farms look like this, it means harvest is going to be very, very poor. This, and that can lead to hunger. Our seed fields, well, a lot of seed fields can also be affected. And that will affect seed production next year. An entomologist and the head of crop protection Post harvest with Sari in Yangpala, Dr. Mumuni Abu Dulai said the worm is a new invasive insect which is not common in Africa but attributed the level of destruction to the late planting of crops. This insect pest is more severe on late planted maize. So if you plant early, you are likely to escape from the demon because by the time the adults emerge from the hiding place to lay eggs on the foliage, the late early harvested, early planted maize were harvested. So it's only those who plant late who suffer the, the, the damage. So the other another alternative for control, maybe for next year, is to plant early. And planting early also means when you have when you are able when we are lucky to get the rain stabilizing early. Dr. Mumuni further called for the monitoring and the spraying of farms to minimize the destruction. If you don't protect the crop, then you can lose the apical medicine and the crop dies. And if you don't protect your crop against this insect pest, you are likely to lose the entire crop. And this is so serious because if you protect your field and your neighbors do not, chances are that the adults will run, will fly from the uncontrolled fields to your fields again and lay eggs. So that's why it's so severe. And it is also so severe because 
for some time now, we've not been getting rains. And because we're not getting rains, the, you know, a stress plant is always very susceptible to damage. And that's why the crops are very stressed and they are even dying because the insect infestation is so high. And because there's also not enough rainfall and moisture, they are already stressed. And added to this infestation, then the crops just dies. Dr. Mumune further urged farmers to alternate the choice of sprays to minimize the level of resistance by the worm. So we advise farmers to spray, and even the spray, we don't advise farmers to use one chemical. We don't want to develop resistance in the pests. So we advise farmers to do alternate sprays of different chemistries. For instance, you can use Lambda Super, which is a parathroid, and followed by maybe a Sametriate. That way, you, you delay resistance in the pests. So we advise farmers not to use one chemical to spray throughout. So, but if you do a very good spray, directing the nozzles to the apical metal stems and also the foliage, and work slowly, you can kill the lava and you should be able to protect your field. The worm invasion poses a huge threat to food security in northern region, according to a food security specialist at the USAID Ghana. From Yangpala, Noanash, for Vasa One News.